Representative Kiley. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mrs. Barkey, you are an elected school board member in a county of several million people in Southern California. And uh, I'm glad that you're here because, you know, the uh, border crisis that we are seeing in this country is particularly pronounced in California, uh, where the state has taken the failed border policies of this administration and made things a lot worse with policies like uh, a statewide sanctuary state policy and becoming the first state in the country uh, to offer free health care to everyone who's in the state illegally. And the consequences of this have been predictable, where now uh, the San Diego sector has the most illegal crossings uh, of any sector uh, in the country uh, for the first time since the 1990s. And so this is having a whole host of consequences for our state, uh, and uh, in particular for our education system. And it comes at a time, by the way, when uh, the state has, through fiscal mismanagement, uh, wound up with a $73 billion deficit that is uh, likely to lead uh, to cuts when it comes to education education funding. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to tell us a little bit what, how that has posed challenges for you in running the many schools in your district, and in particular uh, for the teachers, because teaching is a really challenging job. I was a teacher uh, for some time, and when you have um, a lot of new people coming into the system like this, I have to imagine that poses challenges. Thank you for your questions. Yes, it is very challenging for our teachers. Um, you know, our teachers have what we call teachers unions, but we know those unions aren't really protecting our best teachers. Our, we love our teachers. We have a lot of compassion for our teachers. We have some of the best teachers in the country, but the, the unions, unfortunately, are not protecting the teachers or the children. We saw that during the pandemic, and it is very challenging for our teachers to deal with everything that is going on in our schools, uh, the lack of school choice, you know, is, is a big problem for us as well. Uh, since I joined the Board of Education, we've gone in Orange County from 14 to 43 charter schools, but we still don't have nearly enough to accommodate, and many parents can't afford private schools or private schools in Southern California. Uh, and throughout California are very expensive. So it is a big crisis for teachers because they're really not protected by the unions who are really not protecting the new teachers. They're on both sides of the bargaining table. A lot of uh, union members are board members, and so you have them uh, negotiating on both sides, and it's really not having favorable results for our children. It is so important that we uh, support our teachers. Uh, as a matter of fact, last week I recognized on the floor of, uh, of the House uh, a number of outstanding teachers uh, in my district, and so I really appreciate that, uh, that perspective. Um, Another issue I wanted to ask you about is parental involvement, because uh, any teacher will tell you how important, how vitally important it is to have uh, strong parental involvement uh, to the child's academic success. And so especially when we're looking at a situation where we have so many, a tragic number of unaccompanied minors uh, coming across the border, how has this posed challenges uh, for your school leaders and teachers when it comes to facilitating parental involvement? It's very challenging. We, we do know that parental involvement really, really helps with academic achievement, academic excellence. And when you have unaccompanied minors that, that may not have parents that are comfortable coming to the school for one reason or another, in many cases, uh, the unaccompanied minors, their, their parents may not speak the language. They also may have fears of, of um, immigration status with, with a lot of our illegal immigrants. And so the parents don't want to get involved because it, it's scary to them to come to an open house or back to school night. And with a language barrier, it's difficult for them to help with homework. And we do see when there's parent involvement, that's where children really succeed. And so our uh, immigrant population really is at a disadvantage. And it's also challenging for the teachers to manage a classroom without a lot of parental involvement. When you look at the best schools that are winning the awards, they're the schools that have high parent involvement. Thank you very much I, uh, yield, for your leadership. I yield the remainder of my time to the chair.